let's go ahead and see what kind of action we got. Was something supposed to happen? Okay, seems about a good enough time to start today's video. What's going on with y'all? Up in the box truck, people are driving like crazy out here. And I'm kind of damned if I do, damned if I don't, and this ain't gonna make no sense right here. I gotta have the windows up while I'm filming because we got no windscreen on this camera and there's an exhaust leak in the box truck. Even with the window down, all I can smell is exhaust. I can't film for very long because I don't wanna pass out inside of this truck. Folks, we got a lot of things going on today. I've got a chiropractor's appointment right now. I've gotta go get my back blown out. I mean, my back stretched out because I've been having back pains like an 80 year old woman. And then we're off to the house and hopefully for today, the big objective is getting the HVAC system started. That's probably not gonna happen until way later on this evening, but we should have a lot of things going on over at the house in terms of work getting done. So let's see what's in store for us today with Felon Flippers, AKA the shit show that all of this is really turned into and eventually it's not gonna be that type of a show. It's gonna be a good show, hopefully, when we get to the end of everything. I had a long conversation with Dave yesterday. He made a guest appearance in a recent video. I don't know when you guys are actually seeing this video, so it might have been a couple of days ago, but Dave told me a really good piece. He said, you know what's crazy? He says, I know you're dealing with a lot right now in relation to the house, but think about this. One day, and hopefully one day soon, you're gonna be driving to the bank to deposit a check because you sold the house. And man, I've been thinking a lot about that. And that's what's giving me a lot of hope right now. Or maybe that's the smell of this exhaust up in this truck. I gotta stop filming and roll this window down. All right, well, I did the chiropractor thing and now we're over at the house trying to see what's going on over here. Don't look like anybody's over here. Don't know if anybody's been over here. So. Don't look like nobody's been over here. Ain't that something. Hmm. Well, damn. Alrighty. Cool deal. Well, at least that got done. There's our condensate line right there for our HVAC. Good deal. Good deal. All right. A lot of leftover debris from the old HVAC. And ain't even telling what's going on up there. All right. Well, I can definitely tell ain't nobody been over here today. And that... Damn it, man. That kind of sucks. So, real quick, let me give you guys the rundown. Did the chiropractor thing. My back feels a lot better. Uh, my back has been hurting so bad all the way in my back, shooting around to my fat ass rib. They told me it's because I got a compressed disc and I also got a messed up disc. This happened from a car accident 20 years ago. Joe's getting old, 37 years old. 20 years later, Here's where this pain is really starting to set in at. Electrical was supposed to be going today. Like I just had a talk with the dude doing the electrical and that was supposed to be an all day affair. And I can tell that no electrical is going cause I could see that, you know, nothing has been done in here. And I ain't heard from nobody. I've been trying to get in contact with people and it's just been to no avail. So I guess what I'm gonna do, the only thing that I can do is try to find out what's going on with this electrical dude and you know if he's not gonna be here today then that's gonna put a damper on trying to get the HVAC system started today you know I I said this at the beginning of this video and I hate that that's what it is but I said yo this whole house has turned in to a shit show and really I know it's not gonna be that way for long it can't be all we got to do is just get past electrical and HVAC I mean it's gonna be so good to be seeing hot air and AC coming out of that right there. That's brand new. That looks so good. 
I gotta find out what's going on. But it ain't gonna be like this for long. Once we get past HVAC and uh, electrical and plumbing, because we're still not done with plumbing yet, this project is gonna move smooth. It's got to move smooth, because we're gonna be almost done at that point. And I know everything just looks crazy in here right now, but it's not gonna look that way for too much longer. You know, it's unfortunate about what happened to our, our stove. I did get the confirmation that, uh, well, I know who did it. And neither here nor there, they told me that they did it. It was an accident. Uh, they're willing to, you know, help me get that repaired or get that replaced. So there's that. I don't know if HVAC is going to be getting cut on today. Without electrical, that's probably not going to happen. So let me figure out what's going on, folks, and I will let you know. Oh, and real quick, let me mention this as well. You know, I could have came over here and done some work today. I got the box truck. I've been driving that around because my truck is not good. I won't get... Sorry, I was passing by a neighbor. I didn't want them to see me filming. But yeah, I'll be sharing that with you guys today. But I can't because my wife has the flu. It's 70 degrees outside today, folks. The weather here in Virginia is like the lottery. 36, 22, 70. Oh, well. All right, I'm going to figure out what's going on, and I'll let you guys know. All right, guess we're going to be riding a little bit of style today. Well, it's the same day, actually. It's just way later in the afternoon. Good Lord, it's smoking hot in here, too. All right, I got my wife's vehicle, and that's gonna be a kind of a plus, but the only reason I got my wife's vehicle is because she is super sick. She's got the flu, and she is not doing good, folks. She's got the flu, she's got a fever, she's all sorts of messed up. So major prayers for my wife. I'm getting ready to head back over to the house right now, folks, and I got to the root of what was going on for today. Lloyd, uh, Dave with the dreads who has been helping us with a lot of things mostly electrical. He wasn't there He was supposed to be there. I talked with him last night. He said he was gonna be there bright and early He wasn't there. I didn't know what was going on. His phone is off Well, I would end up hearing from his girlfriend and she would tell me that Lloyd broke down On the way over to the house this morning on the interstate truck broke down So he was stranded all day with no phone that has got to suck. Some kind of a way I would learn that he pushed his truck off of the interstate, off an exit ramp, and was able to get to a phone, call his girl. I texted his girl because he was texting me from her number yesterday. That's how I talked with him yesterday. And that's when I would find out everything that had been going on with him and the troubles that he was in today. Well, I ended up calling a tow truck company and got his vehicle towed to L&M Moped, to our good guy Butch that we know who works on mopeds. Well, not only does Butch work on mopeds, he also works on cars. I called Butch. Butch is gonna get the car and try to figure out what's wrong with it, or the SUV. So there's that. Dave with the dreads girlfriend would end up driving him over to the house. He's over there now, he's working. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon and our HVAC guy is also on his way over to the house to finish up this HVAC. Now, though the game plan is to get this stuff finished, I can't guarantee that we're gonna see this HVAC get cut on today. I do hope that we will. I don't know what's going on over there. Must got some kind of a fire since they got the ladder truck on the interstate. I can't guarantee that we're gonna see the HVAC get cut on today because I don't know how long I'm gonna be over at the house. I'm not gonna be over there very long at all. I just wanna see that they're getting the work going and that hopefully everything's gonna go according to plan. And plus, I gotta go pick up medicine for my wife and I need to really be there for my wife. But regardless, hopefully, after all of this, hopefully today is the last day that we gotta deal with getting the HVAC installed. And at the very latest, tomorrow, hopefully we're able to go hit this thermostat and see the HVAC system cut on. Well, hello. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another day up in the box truck. 
another day I'm waiting to get my vehicle fixed. I was gonna start today off going and getting some countertops, but I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not that's a good idea to get those right now. We've already brought a few things in too early and have had some damage to uh, the vanity, to the stove. So maybe we can hold off just a little bit on the countertops, but it is getting close to countertop time. Folks, today should be an amazing day here over at the house because we've got some great news. Folks, after so long and so much that we've been through in an effort to get to this point, the HVAC system has been installed and is supposedly damn near done at the house. Now I say damn near done, there's a few little trivial things that need to be done, but nothing uh, that stands in the way of the HVAC being operational. Folks, the biggest news to share with you guys is the HVAC is installed and supposedly it's operational. We're damn near at the house right now, so we're gonna be checking that out and getting a chance to see this thing in action. And like I said, it's been a long, grueling process to get to this point. A lot of you probably don't even know about the craziness that we went through yesterday. I'll be sharing that with you guys today, and good. Dave with the dreads is here, I see that. And folks, we're pulling up to the house right now. It is about to be a very exciting time. I'm very excited about all of this. But there's a lot to share with you guys, again, about what it took yesterday to get to this point. I was actually filming just a little bit about that. I didn't really get uh, a conclusion to that. So we're gonna start this fresh. I'll share the story with you guys today. But let's go up inside of this house and let's see what's going on with this HVAC. I feel like I'm looking a little fat. All right up inside of the house and man it just feels bright and so full of life in here i know a lot of people have been saying this thing is turning into a real shit show well let me tell you one part of the shit show that's no longer that and folks that most certainly has got to be this right cheer folks we got the hvac so it's not turned on right now it's all off uh dave with the dreads he's up there working on some things hey haven't even got a chance to talk about what happened to you yesterday because you went through it. But shout out to Dave because he got over here and helped out in a major way. He worked over here late last night. So did the other HVAC guy who was, you know, doing the install. And folks, let's go ahead and see what kind of action we got. Was something supposed to happen? So I just clicked on the HVAC. Oh, I hear it. Boy, I can hear it cutting on. What do you got on, heat or uh, AC? Heat. Heat, yep. The emergency, uh, emergency strips are gonna cut on first. And then... The heat pump the outside? Motor, the blower motor's gonna take on, then the heat strips, then the condenser's gonna get it. What he was talking about also, is there's an internal uh cutoff in the unit itself right um so we didn't necessarily need the external uh switch and tail right but i personally would like to still install it and that way it's there because i don't know code wise how that that is you know what i mean i don't know if they have to have the external one just for looks or whatever but so, all right, cool deal. Folks, the HVAC is kicking. We got the heat on. I told y'all what I wanted to do. I just wanted to put this camera here. Oh my God. Well, that joint is pumping. I don't know what that sounded like. Probably sounded like some wind, but I gotta tell you, whatever it sounded like, it sounds good. Nothing's going on with this thing just yet, but I guess that's gonna kick on at some point. But we're in there. Folks, the HVAC is installed. And now, it's time to move on to whatever we're gonna do in here next. Uh, working to try to figure out about the door. 
that's broken on the stove, we're gonna get that squared away, that's no problem. I was gonna go buy countertops today, but I'm gonna hold off on that for just a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of things that we can now do because of HVAC. We can plaster walls, we can get temperature up in this house. Hope the house will hold temperature. We can start working our way up out of the house. The electrical is getting taken care of. The plumbing is getting taken care of. Folks, the job is moving. The biggest part of this thus far has been the HVAC, and now that's installed and that's working. And it's already starting to get a little warm in here. Also, it's 70 something degrees outside too. Folks, I wanna share with you a crazy, crazy story. And matter of fact, I'm gonna go up in the attic with Lloyd because Lloyd is a big part of this story. I come over to the house, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. Man, it is hot up here. Yeah, it's kind of hot, you know, it's dark. Dude, it is smoking up here. So I come over to the house yesterday at 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, Lloyd, he's supposed to be here getting things squared away for the HVAC guy because he's gonna be coming over at 3.30. Lloyd tells me he's gonna be here bright and early. I get here, he's not here. I had a brief fleeting thought or flashback <laughs> To the Brian days. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Kinda was a little worried. So that was one, that was my first thought too. I said, man, when I tell my car broke down, he's like, oh, not another Brian. <laughs> so, add to that, I've got no way to get in contact with him because his phone was cut off. So, uh, he had called me the day previous on his girl's phone. I called that number or texted that number and just said, hey, uh, is Lloyd on this number? His girlfriend would tell me that he broke down on the interstate right before you go in the tunnel. Right before, like the exit, on the exit ramp, damn near. Yep. No phone. No phone. Car broke down. Yep. Boy, I know you were going through it when that happened. A little bit, yeah. And it, the thing is, is like for the briefest moment, I'm so used to always being in that position of like illegally driving and shit like that. Like the first thing I'm thinking about was like, I might go to jail. Then I'm like, you're good. Like, don't even worry about it. You know what I mean? You're legit. You got your L's. Yeah, just do what you got to do. And, uh, couldn't have been me. I'd have been, oh boy, the curse word. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Go! I found out from his girl that he broke down. She was on her way to go meet with him. He called me once she got with him, told me what was going on. He had no way to get the vehicle anywhere, was trying to figure that out. So I got him a tow truck and towed it to our good dude or our good friend Butch over at LM Moped and Repair. Also, I need to let you know, I was joking the hell out of your vehicle this morning. Why? I was like, you know, it's a Mercury Mountaineer, you know, that thing, I don't know what's got a stronger motor, a moped or a, a Mercury. No, that V6 gets it. <laughs> I usually got about 4,000 extra pounds in that bitch worth of tools, so. Yeah. yeah well, put a strain on it. Needless to say, we got a tow to l and Moped. You might remember that. That's where we took the mopeds to get fixed. You're probably thinking, Joe, why would you take a vehicle to a moped place? Well, they also work on vehicles there. And we're just waiting on the prognosis of what the issue is. I just talked with Bush earlier. He was kind of busy. He's going to let me know later on this afternoon what he thinks it is and what the status of getting it fixed is going to be looking like or how much it's going to be looking like. But I told Lloyd, I said, look, man, I need you to help me help you or help you help me, some kind of a way like that. <laughs> because I needed him to be here yesterday because this HVAC guy was coming back to finish this install. And Lloyd, y'all stayed out here late last night, didn't you? Uh, it wasn't It wasn't so bad. I mean, it was like, like eight o'clock maybe, seven, eight o'clock. That's pretty late, man. Yeah. Well, I wanna say I greatly appreciate you being here. You know a lot about HVAC. You know, you were able to help this guy out quite a bit. You were able to put some things in my ear that I needed to be mindful of, of what they were doing. And the good news is. Yeah, overall, man, they, they did a, they, I, can, I can say they did a good job, you know what I mean? On a level of like an outside perspective, if I was uh, criticizing it, they did a pretty good job. Well, hell yeah. But again, real special shout out to Lloyd, special shout out to Connor, special shout out to Dave, special shout out to our HVAC technicians as well. The HVAC is now in the house and now folks, it's, now what? What do we do next? 